What's going on, people? It's your boy Fordy, aka Ford Have Mercy. My boy Tim Crawls left the building. I know it's only for a year, but you know what? It's going to be full time. You know it. You can just feel it. And it's all started with this transfer merry go round of bloody Man City. Blame them, man. Bloody Pep Guardiola's come in. He's had a little rift with Joe Hart. Now he's brought in Claudio Bravo from Barcelona. And obviously that sparked off the whole thing. And then bloody, what's his name? silicon has gone to Barcelona. Now Ajax needs someone. And they think, oh, who should we get in? Oh, let's get in Tim Krull. So now Tim krull has gone on loan to Ajax. He's just got fit as well, man. I remember just doing a video the other day talking about he's going to be back to business in the next two weeks. And now he's sent back on loan. I mean, the only positive thing to be coming out of this is obviously he's getting game time. And obviously... He signed an extension from now until June 2018. But the real reason why he signed it because his contract was up this season. We don't want to lose him on a free because we know he's going to go over there and excel. Man, he's in his home country playing for probably, for probably for the best team out over there, arguably anyway. And you know he's going to go over there and shine, man. He's just top player, man. I, I rate Tim Krul so highly. Yes, he's had a bit of dip in form in recent years, but come on, man, he's. I reckon he's miles ahead of all the keepers that we've got at the moment. And I still rate Rob Elliott. I rate Carl Darlow, as you guys know. Matt Sell, hmm. And then Freddie Woodman. Yeah, he's not even had a chance yet. He's barely out of school. So, it annoys me. But at the same time, I want to wish him well. Oh, of course I wish him well, man. It's, it's one of our better players, man. And obviously a player that's been with us for, for a time, man. For, what, 10 years? And he's only 28. So, I don't know, man. Part of me says wish him luck and all the best and all the rest of it and hopefully he comes back when we're in the Premier League. But the other part of me thinks to myself, he's not coming back, man. I mean, he signed the extension so we can get money for him. So we don't lose out any money for him. And how much will a keeper like that be worth? I mean, keepers go into their 40s near, near enough uh, playing at a, at a good level. I mean, look at Peter Cech. He's, what, 30-odd, 37, 38 or whatnot. So again, if he goes by Peter Cech's standards, he's still got another 10 years ahead of him. So... I don't know, man. For a player that we've only bought in for, well, pretty much next to nothing, under a million pounds or something like that, I reckon we could at least get 15 million pounds from at least. But I don't want to go that far and think to myself, like, we're losing a top player who loves the club as well. You know, being with us through two relegations, promotions, European football, he's been there, done it, man. And he probably should even be a high candidate to be captain I mean I, I love Lascelles but at the same time someone who's been there done it and he's been here 10 years as well <sighs> that's how I just feel about it guys anyway but as always guys let me know how you guys feel I'm not I'm sure you will anyway is it a good move for Tim Krul is it a good move for the club yes he signed a contract extension for two more years but come on that's just papering over the craps now you know you know in like what nine months time you're going to see Tim Krul holding up his shirt Either in Ajax, I mean, even he, he's too good to go back to Ajax. Sorry, no disrespect to you Dutch fans, but he's played European football now. He's been playing on a big stage, you know, in World Cups, European Championships, I'm sure. Is he? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, there was talk of him obviously going to Everton. Uh, obviously, I didn't want that to materialise. I would love for him to come back and just reclaim the number one shirt and everything goes back to normal. But realistically now... We've got five keepers at the club, or had five keepers at the club. Freddie Woodman's probably going to go on loan somewhere or play in the under-21s. Still got Elliot to come back. Still got Darlow on the bench. Still got Sells on the, uh, in the first team at the moment. So something had to give. I mean, it was not going to work out for one position or, or two positions in the squad, re realistically. We've got five keepers, so it's not going to work out. So anyway, let me know what you guys think, because I'm just rambling on now. I'm a bit annoyed about it but you know what as I said before and as everyone said before in Rafa we trust so we trust his judgement and it's for the best so you know I don't have anything else more to say take care of yourself see you all very soon because I'm putting out another video on guess who peace